would you feel if I told you that oranges were originally green instead of orange? It sounds impossible, but it's true. Then why and how are they orange today? Watch the video until the end to learn about this remarkable transformation, the history of oranges, and the complete production process of orange juice. From harvesting, washing, sorting, peeling, and cutting the oranges to the extraction, filtration, homogenization, pasteurization, packaging, and distribution of orange juice. Every step promises freshness and quality. Oranges are citrus fruits native to Southeast Asia. They're typically round or oval with a thick orange rind. The flesh of the orange is segmented and bright orange. The tangy fruit can be eaten fresh, juiced, or used in cooking. They're a popular ingredient in salads, desserts, and smoothies and can also be used to make marmalade, marzipan, and candied orange peel. Oranges are also rich in vitamin C, potassium, fiber, vitamin A, calcium, and iron. They can help to boost the immune system and are essential for heart and digestive health. The earliest oranges are believed to have grown in China in 2500 BC. They were introduced to the Mediterranean region by the Arabs in the 10th century and to America by Christopher Columbus in the 15th century. Oranges were used as food and to treat various ailments, including scurvy, fever, and stomach problems. They were also believed to have the power to ward off evil spirits. By 1987, orange trees became the most cultivated fruit trees worldwide. Today, the largest orange producers in the world are Brazil, China, India, United States, and Mexico. Global orange production was estimated at nearly 40 million metric tons, 109 billion pounds in 2022, with its global market standing at around 4 billion US dollars. Orange juice is the most preferable fruit juice worldwide because of its health benefits. Although it's been consumed since the 17th century, its commercial production and sale began in the late 1920s. The first large-scale orange juice processing plant was established by Louis G. McDowell in Winter Haven, Florida in 1947. This marked a significant milestone in the commercialization of orange juice, and it became rapidly popular worldwide. Today, it is one of the most prominent products of all the beverage companies. Global annual juice production was estimated at 2 million metric tons, around 4 billion pounds, with the market valued at approximately 33 billion US dollars in 2022 to 23. Now, let's explore how the world's favorite juice is made in factories. Oranges are planted in late winter and early spring. The ideal temperature range for orange trees is somewhere between 65 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 to 29 degrees Celsius during the day, and no less than 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius at night. Oranges are harvested from trees when they're ripe. The harvesting season for oranges falls anywhere between June to late October, depending on the type of oranges and the climate of the producer countries. Oranges are ready to be harvested when the skin is bright orange and free of blemishes. The oranges feel heavy for their size and slightly soft to the touch. The oranges are typically picked by hand or by mover and shaker harvesters. Hand picking is more labor intensive but allows for more careful selection of oranges. Machine picking is faster and less expensive but can result in more bruised or damaged oranges. The oranges are washed with a high-pressure water spray or a chemical sanitizer to remove dirt, pesticides, or other contaminants. Pre-cleaning helps to maintain the overall hygiene of the process. Grading ensures that only the best oranges are used for juice production, while any substandard ones are set aside for other purposes. The oranges are sorted according to sizes and colors. Any oranges that are bruised or damaged are removed. This is important to ensure that the juice is of high quality. Oranges are peeled by rotating blades of rotary peelers or by hydro peelers which use a high pressure stream of water to peel the oranges. The peel discharge conveyor discards the peels while the pulp is preceded to reamers by the fruit discharge conveyors. The oranges are sliced into halves or quarters by the rotating blades of the reamer. A juice extractor squeezes the juice from the oranges, leaving the pulp behind. The freshly extracted juice contains some pulp and other fruit particles. To achieve a smooth and clear consistency, 
the juice is passed through a series of filters to remove the remaining solid material. Then, the juice is clarified to remove any cloudiness. This is done by adding clarifying agent, such as bentonite, to the juice. The juice is then allowed to settle for a period, after which the clear juice is separated from the sediment. After that, the juice is homogenized to create a uniform consistency. This is done by passing the juice through a machine that breaks down the particles into smaller sizes. This ensures that the juice has a smooth texture and that the flavor is evenly distributed. The juice is vacuumed to remove air bubbles as they cause the juice to lose flavor and color. Then the juice is heated to 176 to 203 degrees Fahrenheit, around 80 to 95 degrees Celsius for 15 to 30 seconds to destroy harmful bacteria and enzymes. This ensures the juice remains safe for consumption and extends its shelf life. The juice is chilled to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, around 4 degrees Celsius or below before packaging. The final product is filled into clean and sterilized containers, such as bottles, cartons, or pouches. The packaging is airtight and light resistant to maintain the freshness and quality of the juice. It's labeled with the product name, ingredients, nutritional information, and expiration date. The packaged orange juice is stored in cold storage facilities, ideally maintained around 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius to maintain its freshness. Before the juice is distributed, it goes through quality control checks. These tests ensure the juice meets the required taste, consistency, and safety standards. Then it's distributed to retailers and consumers via refrigerated transport. Now, you must be wondering about the original oranges that were green. Yeah, it's true. The original oranges were green, not orange. The color is a result of a mutation that occurred in the fruit centuries ago. The mutation affected the genes that control chlorophyll production, the green pigment that gives plants their color. As a result, the oranges produced less chlorophyll and more beta-carotene, an orange pigment. The mutation that turned oranges orange is thought to have occurred less than 10,000 years ago in Southeast Asia, where oranges are native. It's believed that farmers selected the mutation because orange oranges were more attractive to buyers. I love drinking orange juice. How do you like to use orange juice? Tell us in the comment section. Thank you for watching this episode and we'll see you in the next one.